Hey, Kalano, how is Crippen doing? It's your right. We've heard rumors about a sudden change of his behavior lately. Oh, well, I'd say he's fine. Or oh, almost. Oh, yeah. Is there any mm -hmm. problem? Well, truth be told, he's been very stressed recently because of. This is outrageous! <laughs> Utterly outrageous! It reaches a new unknown level of outrageousity! This. We love to make up words here. <laughs> he is going to be uh, really disappointed when he uh, figures out that um, his package is never going to arrive. Still not here. Try to calm down, Inquisitor. I mean, it's not that long. I've heard that orders from Astartes on and Ecclesia. I wonder what he ordered. It take even longer. And after all, this is only. I need those new glasses. Don't you understand? Oh. I can't see shit through these. So that. <laughs> Mindless walking snails gave me sunglasses when I asked for normal ones. They look like those uh, stereotypical, like, blind man sunglasses that you see on, like, TV shows, so it makes sense that he uh, can't see anything through them. Yeah. But you are right. I should probably calm down. The planet Tyrion has not been responding for a long time. <laughs> oh, boy. Not just to me, but all communication. Then you would think... As much as I need those glasses. We will arrive at the planet itself soon and investigate about the reasons of such- <laughs> He's following up to make sure his package didn't get lost or taken. <laughs> of course he is, because why wouldn't he? You know, you, we all would if we had that power, if we could say, you know what, I, I'm gonna just go check on the, the warehouse or the factory that's making my glasses and see what's up, what's up. You know, we'd do it if we were inconvenienced enough or we'd send someone else to do it. Science, go and prepare yourselves. And uh, make me a mug of recalf while you're at it. Ooh. Are you sure you really need another? <laughs> He's already had one. <sighs> That's me. That's me. Except I'm not a recalf gal. The planet of Tyron has fallen silent. I would want not to sound paranoid. This seems a little suspicious. Dun, dun, dun. Especially in those times where anything can happen to isolated worlds. Oh, come on, old man. It's not like the entirety of Tyron <laughs> has been wiped out by some random. Mm. Oh, fuck. Yeah. That's right. Is that really Tyron? What a vile atrocity caused this. This Sense is not good. Heat. Nothing. No signs of life. There are no trees, mountains, water, buildings, animals. Even the planet's molten core has been extracted somehow. It is like something sucked it dry. Like a. Ah, dang it! Dang it. it! The thought crossed my mind, but I was like, no, they won't possibly go there. There's no Fab Stodies there. There's no Fab Stodies here. <laughs> oh, this is three and a half minutes in. Terrible. All right, men, change of plan. We shall go down to the planet's surface and see if we can find clues as to what in the Emperor's name happened here. Draken! Yes, Lord Kripman. You shall stay here and relay back the information the ground teams find. Even if I don't even know if you have arms or something. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Do your thing. Yes, Lord Kripman. Nipples. There's barely Ew. an atmosphere, but what little gases are left smell worse than the septic tank of my power armor's nutrient filter. The didn't stop the backlight stayed inside. I anticipated they would have had a case of drowning due to the amount of vomit produced in the helmet. Ew, Reminds that's disgusting. All those horny dark Eldars are escaping the poop columns. Uh, Thanks for reminding me about yeah, that. Yeah, that's disgusting. I'm going to have to book in another session with the line clip. That's when you need your men in black mind erasers. <laughs> what is this? Inquisitor Crippman, I have found something. What is it, Ruin Priest? Greater goods, oh These no. Are the personal belongings of Majus Barnak, the person mm -hmm. I tried to contact during all this time. How do, Let's see. How do you know that? Heresy. Heresy. Important data about Xeno Anatomy. <clears throat> and, uh, <laughs> I knew it. What is this? I knew it. Most likely his data codex. Hmm. This should provide us answers. Indeed. Let us head back to the ship to read his content. 
and I will keep this oh, for of course you private are. personal research. <laughs> no. Now he's going to be Just really mad he didn't get those new glasses. Oof. Yeah. What? Oh. <laughs> what the heck just happened? <laughs> oh god, Emperor, no! Oh god, Emperor, no! Oh, oh god, Emperor, no! The dichotomy between regular humans and space marines, space marines that don't uh feel, don't like have fear or don't feel it the same way humans do. They're just like, oh, another mess to clean up. Humans are just terrified. <laughs> Me as an Imperial Guardsman, yeah, that honestly, that's pretty accurate. A lot of people in 40k are like, this is what I want to be. Like, if I was in 40k, I'd be a space marine, or I'd be this, this, and this. And I've, I've heard jokes where it's like, yeah, why is this toilet surfeiter malfunctioning? <laughs> and honestly, I, it's not, like, completely wrong. I'm kind of dumb sometimes. They'd be like, yes, this, this brain has no use for us in the future. <laughs> so, um, let's just make it a servitor. <laughs> What is this? What does it mean? It means there's yet another Zeno Menace for us to deal with. Yep. Great! Oh my, I feel hollow. I told you not to eat so much bread this morning. <laughs> this trash is full of gluten. <laughs> gluten? Why are you even paying attention to the video? How can you all stay so calm after? Oh wait, you are Death Watch, you know. Death Watch, yep. Never mind. Yeah, we're used to this kind of shit by now. <laughs> right. Well, <laughs> gentlemen, what we have witnessed here is the rise of a new and surely fierce alien threat. Mm -hmm. A force apparently devouring planets to leave nothing more than a barren rock behind. To then grow even stronger and produce more... Le Someone I saw said that uh, Tyran is, was mostly water. So do you think the, uh, the Tyranids were just um, slurping up the water off the planet like I do at 3 a.m. when I'm really thirsty? It's time to chug. We're gonna chug this water. That's how I imagine, like the the giant hive mind just picking up the planet and just slurping all the water off. Lethal <laughs> abominations. On this day, we shall know our enemy <sighs> by the name that I shall give them. We shall know them. Yes. The space hags of death. Yes. What? If I may interfere, my lord, this sounds a bit dumb. Space um, bugs of death. Winded. Why not call them Turnids, for example? You could be a band name. Space Bugs of Death. That sounds like a band name. As a reference to the first planet to have succumbed to them. Don't tell me what to do! Although, in fact, this isn't a bad idea. Let us use it. Mm -hmm. So as the name of the race will be Tyranid, the name of this specific fleet shall be, um, uh, like this awesome monster I saw in one of my childhood color books. Yeah. Behemoth. Oh. This is actually a pretty cool name for something that's gonna kill us all, I must say. It, it is yeah, a cool name. Makes me feel less bored about the idea of another apocalyptically <laughs> deadly Xeno species to battle. Tell me about it. <laughs> Astropath, try to reach Thandros and tell them about the Tyranids and the coming of Behemoth. By my calculations, that planet is next in the path of the alien fleet. They've been numb. I can't. What? I cannot penetrate the warp turmoil left by the passing of the alien fleet. Oof. So they are obscure in our communications as well. Let us set course to Fandros ourselves. Good if luck. If we make good speed, we should be able to warn them before- Fucking damn it! <laughs> this isn't good, my lord. <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen, but it's funny. <laughs> we should be able to warn them. Oh. Oops. Lord. According to the path this alien fleet is following, it seems their next target is 
Ultrama, the home of the Ultramarines. Mm. You're right. We have confirmed the fact that we cannot outrun the Tyranid fleet. Astropath, you have to somehow overcome this Wado in the Dwarf thing. It's the only chance we have. I told you. I cannot penetrate the warp turmoil left by the passing of the alien fleet. Do it! But I can't! Just do it! It is like pushing through a wall of iron with mere fists. But just do it, though. I told you! I can- Do it! Just well, do it! Maybe. If I had some means to focus my message more intensely. Here. <laughs> Go in that room alone so you can focus more easily. Do not worry. It will just be similar to full body constipation. What? Except it hurt in an incomparably superior scale and might end up killing you. But you astropaths are used to this kind of casualties anyway, aren't you? Uh, I suppose. Yeah, you don't want to be an astropath. You're going to die. <laughs> what is this? He's gonna fall over dead. Uh, did you actually shit in my room? You told me it was going to be like constipation. This is what happens when you don't take your <laughs> multivitamins and magnesium tablets in the morning. Don't judge take me. Take your multivitamins, anyway, chat. Good job, astropath. I hope the Ultra Marines will get the message properly. We will try to get to their planet as well, in case they might not understand our warning, because it will probably be a bit blur. <laughs> Another victory in the name of the Emperor. Ventius shall be remembered as a great warrior who sacrificed himself to defeat the foul Tikar Tkexikar uh Tkexik the foul demon we had to fight. Here we go, my friend. Now, let us go sideways, shall we? Of course! No! <laughs> ultra bar. The ultra bar. That's wonderful. I love this. This that that is a hilarious name. <laughs> ultra bar. <laughs> and then the sergeant said, we made our base here, so I will die here. <laughs> oh what a to die. Oh wow. Did I tell you the time I tried our wrestling with Tanya Skalgar? What can the only break of the four? A prevalence question in the turn crowd. Ultra beer. Oh, whatever you say, Massage. Honorable Batwallis. We received an urgent message coming from some unidentified Imperial force. Oh yeah? Yes, honorable battle brother. The message indicates that something huge, like a wave, is coming towards our sector. Like it was going to <laughs> swallow it. <laughs> Can you explain it further? I have no idea. It indicated that this threat was red and ferocious and probably very nasty with a mean look and sharp teeth. Word bearers coming to take their revenge for the 795th time? Or maybe it's just a bunch of random pilgrims oh, wow. coming to fap to the corpse of Gullivan again. Oh gosh. Are you sure it's not the Alpha Legion fucking with us like last time? Impossible, honorable battle brother. The message cannot lie. Mm -hmm. Psychers all around the sector have been experiencing weird vibes as of recently. <laughs> Something is coming, for sure. The, the, it's the weird vibes, Jet. Weird vibes. I get it! We finally get that pizza delivery from Mars! No! No, no. Everyone, get your call. And your other. Yes, Let yes. Speak. Oh, greetings, Chapter Master Mordius Augustus Calgar! I believe this message is a warning of something dangerous that is coming to us. We need to wait until we get more information. Uh. Our receptors have been sensing the arrivals of an Imperial ship in the sector. This is no coincidence. They shall explain themselves when they arrive. I still believe in the Pilgrim's theory. Oh, gosh. Yeah, I don't think uh, I'll be able to... This recap is probably the most unsatisfying mug I've ever had to drink, Death Watch. I was hoping far more from an Astartes. You disappoint me. Sir, with all my respect, Astartes are made for combat, not cooking. Mm -hmm. Also, it's not like we ever drink recaf ourselves. 
Astartes must best regular humans in all ways, Marine. You have failed me. No, Again. I wouldn't <sighs> say that. Well, this is still better than staying in the most fucking depressing chapter <laughs> ever, I suppose. Lord Krippman. Oh, it is you, Draken. Have you got any further in your research about the Tyranids? I have made intriguing discoveries. Hmm? Given the psychic might we have faced mm -hmm. in this shadow of the warp, and witnessing the harmonic actions of these beasts that you can see in Varnak's records, I have theorized that all Tyranids seem to act on a single synaptic mind that allow them to synchronize, effectively making each individual part of one great entity. Uh, <laughs> we could acquire samples of one of these creatures. I, I could find out so much more interesting information with my research. Those creatures are fascinating. Of course. He, he worries me. This guy, he he worries me, chat. I, I, don't, I don't like his vibes. He doesn't have the good vibes. Or ways to stop him in the process. Yes. I'm a totally sane fucker. Exactly, oh, right? Who is that dragon guy, anyway? Yeah, I'd love Just to know. Just one of my most brilliant researchers. Mm -hmm. He does a better work than most majos. We can count on him. Now, make me another recap. <sighs> Why? You're right there. <laughs> So this is Macraj. I didn't expect us to be actually- Macraj? You just said Macraj. That hurt. I've always said it Macraj, but I, I could be wrong now. Really faster than the advance of the Hive Fleet. Oh. Well, uh... I don't know. Maybe they were busy with other things along the way. My fellow Scots, I wanted to personally dedicate that bar to our independence. Okay. And most of all, to the success of our race. <laughs> huh. Hi. What's that thing I saw? Yes, that is the only explanation, I suppose. Ah, I was waiting for you to arrive, Marines. Guide us to your leader. We have important information to deliver. You are probably aware of that message we sent. Um, no. Guide us, please. <laughs> Have you seen the face of that guy? He looks like fucking Marcus! And Ryan and Gilliman's glorious drawing oh you gosh. have that look on your head! Does it cover what? a third eye or did they shoot lasers? <laughs> never re no, for uh, roast a, a bro's outfit chat. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> In honor of the squats chat, you gotta do one squat. Don't skip leg day and do a squat. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yes, get him. Excuse me, you blueberry. I want to speak to your manager. Let me speak to your manager. <laughs> Fucklets, you dare disrespect the Holy Inquisitor of the Holy Inquisition? Calm yourself, Inquisitor. Come on, I mean, we've heard worse. You wouldn't be so upset if you took the medications I prescribed you. <laughs> Not to mention his waffle to it before our arrival. <laughs> I like this concept that all of the, the space marines are, like, actively taking care of him for some reason. Just, <laughs> they're just taking care of him. They're like, stop eating gluten. It's bad for your tummy. Have your magnesium pills and your multivitamins. <laughs> like, why, why are they taking care of this man? What's going on there? Who is this? Yeah, because he sounds orky. Oh. You must be the Chapter Master Calcar. Marnius Augustus Galgar. I am Lord Inquisitor Kriftman of the Ordo Zeno. I have traveled far in order to warn you of a new threat, fiercer than ever that is coming for you. All right. Inquisitor, come with me. Oh. Yeah. That would be scary. <laughs> now the riffraff is out of the way, tell me what you know. Thank you, there manager. An alien threat has risen from beyond the abyss. A swarm so vast that it blots out the stars. This horror fights neither for power nor territory. Just to eat. But rather to feed a hunger so insatiable that it will eventually devour the entire galaxy. Uh, so, yes, yes, we call this threat the Tyranids. Those things have destroyed and literally eaten up at least two entire well-defended worlds. They are foul insectoid xenos with each of murderous abominations. 
They basically swoop down, destroy everything in their path, and harvest all leftover biomass so that the swarm can grow in number, making the fleet even more powerful. Okay. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. I mean, yeah. Oh, he's like Aurelia is small. Thanks, chat. Thank you. I appreciate that from the bottom of my heart. Thank you very much. I'm not that small, chat. I'm not that small. Um, are you sure you are to be listening to everything? I'm totally focused. Any more information? Well, according to our research, they are disguised killing machines linked by a psychic hive mind that knows nothing of mercy, reason, or negotiation. Fight or flee are the only options we have against them. Soon, before they arrive, they will generate a massive psychic phenomenon we refer to as a shadow in the war. Ooh. It will cut off all psychic communications and leave you unable to call for reinforcements. I think this is pretty much everything we know so far. Fine. Now get out my marble palace before you make it a <laughs> What? Well, thanks for the warning. Sure. Master okay. Talgar, enemy forces in our perimeter. Where? Nearby, but they were on the move. Current location unknown. Wait. What, what? Well, we're about to make a terrible anachronistic reference, weren't we? Oh, my. Uh, oh. Oh, you made me realize before it was too late. Thanks. I feel kind of bad about it now. <laughs> it's fine. At least we stopped it before we wasted more time. So, tell our to Marines! Instead of making a useless prep speed because your morale is already fucking unbreakable, <laughs> I will remind you all of the task you're all to have. <laughs> when you see the enemy, you fire at them with everything you have. At the fucking air! Weapons will have set us down, but we, on the ground, will have to finish the jobs ourselves whether they will dare to step their full little bug feet or all. <laughs> I just like little bug feet. Bug feet, chat. Sounds like adorable, even though they're terrifying. The planet. Now I want all range weapons to fire at will. Assault squads to set up strategic ambushes to protect weapon batteries and fire squads. Yeah, yeah. There's a shop around a specific I don't remember why. Yeah, that's that's good. If you if you don't know what your war cry is, it's pretty safe to go for the emperor, unless you're chaos. Then I wouldn't recommend using that one. So, I wouldn't recommend that. Master, the sensors say that you're getting close. Fair enough. Steady. Study! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get him, get him, get him. Hold fast, minimum. Yes, yes. <laughs> oh, he angie. He angie chat. Ugh. 